Hi, it's Hannah from the Poplar Creek Public Library and I'm coming at you from my kitchen to go ahead and teach you how to make these wonderful apple pie roll-ups, okay? You can find the recipe online using the link that's attached to this, but you can also use this wonderful video to use it help, to help you cook it as well. Okay, so get ready to cook. Go down here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, first step. You're gonna take 10 pieces of bread and you're going to cut off all of the crusts. All right, I've already cut all of the crusts off of my bread except for this one piece. So you can see what I'm doing. So there goes the crust. Then we're gonna take a rolling pin and we're going to roll it right out. We want it to be as flat as we can. And you wanna do this to all 10 pieces of the bread. So it's very flat. Then you are going to take this and you're going to get your apple pie filling. You can use any kind of apple pie filling. You don't have to use apple pie filling. It could be uh, cherry filling or cream cheese, whichever one you prefer. And you're gonna put it in a bowl. Then you are going to take two teaspoons of the apple pie filling and put it right there on the bread. Okay. Now with that two teaspoons, you are going to then roll up your bread around the filling. Okay, so this right here is a seam. All right, when we cook it, we're gonna put this side down on the pan. Now, your temperature on your oven should be at 350. So preheat your oven to 350, and then cut out all of your pieces of bread and roll them up to where they're like this. Then you are going to take your butter. You need to have one third cup of butter into a little dish that you can then dip your roll into, and you wanna get all the sides on it, covered in butter, okay? Then you are going to take the half a cup of sugar and the teaspoon of cinnamon and mix it up in a dish. And then you're going to roll your roll inside of all of that, getting cinnamon and sugar on all sides. Then you are going to lay it on your pan. All right. Now, since I've already pre-done all of those, this is what they're gonna look like on your pan. You're going to have 10 different rolls. I tried one so that it is by the corners and I did the rest the regular way. You can use gluten-free bread if you would choose to. You don't have to use um, this certain type of bread, but this works better with the cinnamon and sugar to get you that apple pie taste if you like apple pie. All right, we're going to put these in the oven at 350 for 15 minutes. All right, so I'll come back at you when I'm done with that. Okay, our apple pie roll-ups are out of the oven. It's been 15 minutes. They look lovely, but it looks like some of the filling came out of one. So I'm just gonna shove that back in with my fork here. And that's the one that I did that was a little bit different than the rest of them. And there's a little bit coming out of that. Um, if they are a little flattened, you can pinch them a little bit. Watch your hands, because they're still hot. And that will give them more shape, so when they cool, they'll dry, or they'll, they'll go ahead and shape up when they cool down, if they're a little flat. All right, and then they're all done and ready to eat. You can put them on a plate with some ice cream and put some caramel on top and they are just delicious. I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to come see us at the library. Bye.